I mentioned in the previous video that I was going to look into changing the resistor that I was using along with adding that diode and I thought that instead of guessing I would actually measure the amount of current that the battery here is providing to the capacitors to keep them charged up and what I did is I disconnected the wire that has the resistor in between the capacitors and the battery and I just wired in the multimeter and I'm reading the milliamps of power that are coming out of the battery and going into the capacitors and I'm coming up with 11.9 milliamps that is being taken out of the battery so I should be able to calculate basically 12 milliamps going across whatever size resistor I want to use and that will tell me how much lower voltage the capacitors are going to sit at as opposed to what the battery voltage is. So this was a resistor that I had in the car and had been running it with with no diode in there so all the power that goes in and out of the battery had to go through this and it's 3 ohms and what I'm looking at doing is I'm going to take the resistor out of the harness, put in a different resistor, and a diode that will allow flow to go from the alternator to the battery, but won't allow the flow to come back. So, when I've measured the parasitic draw on the car, depending on how long it sits, it seems to be between 15 and 30 milliamps and I can figure out what the voltage drop would be to my capacitors um, basically just with Ohm's law but I thought it'd be easier to demonstrate it here what I currently have in the car if I set the current To 30 milliamps and I run the power through this resistor I get 0 .9, 0 0.09 volts so that means that when the car sits for an extended period of time if it's drawing that 30 milliamps my capacitor bank is going to be about 0.1 volts lower than whatever my battery voltage is sitting at. What I'm switching to is a, I don't know if it'll be able to come in focus here, a 20 ohm resistor instead of a 3 ohm resistor. So when the car sits idle, it's actually going to be at 0.65 volts of drop across this at that same 30 milliamps what this means is I leave the car sit for a couple days my capacitors are going to be a little under a half a volt compared to what my battery voltage is sitting at this is not as ideal for starting the car because I'm giving up reserve capacity being able to start it with the voltage being lower but what it will do is when I start the car and I have a higher amount of current going through here it's going to limit how much it will discharge the battery and it'll hopefully keep my battery topped off and lasting longer I have the harness completed got the diode in here underneath the split loom power is going to come in from the capacitor bank and from the alternator here got it at a 4 amp fuse right now which might be a little bit small important thing to remember when you put a diode in line for charging is that it's not a resistor so it's going to allow as much current to flow through it as possible it'll have a voltage drop so if I were to discharge my battery leaving it sit for like six months there's a good chance that it would blow this fuse. Yeah, Miss Western wants to help. 
and would keep me from actually overloading the diode in here. I believe the diode is rated at 6 amps, so I could probably use a slightly larger fuse if I have problems with it blowing, but I'm guessing I'm not going to be discharging the battery that far, so probably be okay the way it is. But to test this harness to make sure that I have it done correctly, I have my 14.4 volt and if I put power on the correct side and I run power through it, I should have basically a dead short. And that's what you can see here, is that it's maxing it out at the current limiting feature on here. But the battery providing power to the capacitors, if I flip around the leads, you can see it's staying at the 14.4 volts and putting out three quarters of an amp area. So essentially I have a unlimited amount of current allowed to flow to the battery until it blows the fuse, but I have a limited amount of power that can leave the battery. So we'll install it in the car and see how it works. So I have the new harness installed and going to the battery and I'm monitoring the battery voltage and I'm just going to start up the car and make sure that I'm around that 14 volt mark so with those changes I hopefully have improved the rate at which this battery will charge and slowed the amount of power that can come out of the battery Hopefully you found this interesting and thank you very much for watching.